Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to the second video on the Boss GT1000. Today we are going to hear some sounds. I know the first impression video was just a lot of talking, a lot of bashing against the Boss GT1000, telling you all the things that I don't like. Today is a bit more positive. We are going to talk about the sound of the unit and I can already say I really like it. So I've prepared five presets for you which we are going to check out in just a minute. I figured it doesn't make much sense in uh, doing a how to dial in a good metal tone style video because dialing in your basic guitar tone it's not a lot of tweaking it's just choosing your amp rig and then you're good to go basically. So you have 16 amp rigs to choose from so it's not 16 amps and 20 cabs or so and 10 mics. You have amp and cab combinations that are glued together and you can't change those. You can change the mic. Uh, I think you have five or six different mic types and you can slightly play with the mic placement. But in general, the guitar tone itself can't be tweaked that much except for, you know, basic amp settings like gain, treble, bass, which is on one hand okay because it gives you very nice sounds as they are they don't need that much tweaking in my opinion however it does limit your creativity because you don't have the possibility to make your completely own sound with that amp this cab and dual mic setup with that position and that placement of the mics i would personally prefer to have the classical amp cab mic um, configuration that you can set up the way you want to anyway this was a lot of talking already so i guess let's grab a guitar and let me show you those five presets that are pre presets that are pre pre ah. And let me show you those five presets that I've prepared for you. The guitar I'm using for this demo is my lovely Kiesel Vanquish 7-string multi-scale with the lithium pickups in it. I really love this guitar. I mean, just look at it. Wow, where does this come from? Got a chip in the neck. I don't know when this happened. Uh, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, there you have it, the Boss GT1000. Of course, it can do much more than I showed you here. But as I said in the first video, I think this unit is more about the effects and the tweakability of the effects. Because if you take a look at the delay or reverb, there are a lot of parameters that you can adjust. The guitar sounds themselves are really good, in my opinion. You might have noticed the last crunchy preset where you've really got that, I don't know how to explain it. I think there's a nice dynamic in, in the tone. But yeah, as I mentioned, I would prefer to have the possibility to go for that amp and this cap and this mic and just, you know, be creative. I can't say the boss is not about creativity because you can do so much with all the effects and I mean how you can route them and so what are my final words on this personally I can only repeat what I said in the first video I don't see myself using this unit neither live nor at home because for live use I would feel just too much restricted with those two respectively three control knobs you can assign the five preset knobs to be whatever you like them to be however i don't know it just it doesn't feel right it feels like it's an emergency solution on the helix you have a mode switch because then you would have two buttons dedicated to switching banks and eight buttons to either be eight preset buttons or eight control buttons whatever you need in that moment and this is like having 10 knobs and and you just have to figure out for yourself what to do with them although it's not completely c configurable i noticed i wrote that in the last video but i thought maybe i could just having the bank switches here so bank down and bank up but you can't configure this button to be bank up it is kind of fully configurable but then again it is not so what what do i do now <sighs> yeah and then the really bad navigation and the black and white screen just adds to this and I don't know, for me it is not fun. And at the end of the day, a piece of gear like this is about having fun, being creative and just like looking forward to use it when you come home. And it's not the case with this unit. So yeah, to sum this up, the Boss GT1000 is a good floorboard effects processor. The effects are really, really good. And if you are into those, um, you won't be disappointed. The quality is amazing. The design is amazing. However, the interface and the navigation just don't help you having an easy workflow. You would say like, yeah, you, you will learn that and you will get used to it. But I don't know, I, I have this thing for a week now and I'm still not used to it. And I kind of don't want to get used to it because it's not logical at some point. And I want a unit like this to be perfect to use, to be flawless to use, because I will be using it for hours and hours and hours. And if something like that isn't just working the way you want to or the way you are expecting it to, it is not going to be pleasant to work with this. So this or the Line 6 Helix LT. For me personally, Helix all day long. I mean, the Helix is even like 20 to 30 euros cheaper. There's no doubt I would buy the Helix right away. And I'm thinking about getting one uh, at the end of the summer, maybe. You probably don't know, but I sold my Pod HD500. Currently, I don't have a modeler at home and it feels really weird. So much about the Boss GT1000. Boss, if you are seeing this, please consider those things that I mentioned to put them in an update for this unit because yeah as always i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this is helpful for some of you guys i know some of you aren't really happy when i'm saying like these harsh things about this unit but i am being completely honest i'm telling you my opinion i don't want to make videos like hey this is a new boss product let's check it out it's really cool here are some sounds bye this is not what my channel is about my channel is about honesty i want to put pieces of gear like this through the hardest conditions and opinions and practical usage tests if you want to call it like that anyway i am talking way too much i hope you enjoyed this video if you do and if you like the style of my videos well then please consider hitting that subscribe button like share and comment under the video and i will see you next time